Hi, my name is Jonathan Hicks. I'm at Aircon, and today I'm joined by Steve, Mark, Ross, and we've just finished playing Cockroach Poker. I think it's the German version, but that's supposed to say Cockroach Poker. Poker, and uh, you are trying not to collect sets of cards. So these cards I've got in front of me are bad, but you have a hand of cards, and on your turn you take one of the cards. So I might choose to take this rat but don't tell anyone else that. And I'll give it to Mark and say, this is a cockroach. And Mark has to decide whether or not I'm telling the truth. And he either says, well, he could look at it, if he's going to look at it, <laughs> so he, if he looks at it, he can't call me out. In which case, he has to pass it on to somebody else. And then it, he says... This is a scorpion. And so Ross is going to try and decide whether or not he thinks it's a scorpion. Now, if he's decided that yes, it is or no, it's not, he can then call Mark out and flip it over. So he says... I don't think that's a scorpion. So he flips it over, and he was correct. And because Mark lost, and Ross called him out, uh, Mark gets the rat card in this case. And essentially, as soon as somebody gets four of the same animal, then they lose. So there's no winner. Uh, you could only lose the game. One other way, though, if it keeps going around and more and more cards get handed out, if you run out of cards, you can also lose that way. What do we think? It's going to appeal to a certain type of player. <clears throat> um, if you're comfortable with bluffing and lying, and you enjoy the fact that when you're caught or when you're not caught, you can have a big laugh at it, and when it goes, someone goes, this is a toad, and they look at it and goes, oh, no, no, it's a cockroach, and they look at it, and they go, oh, no, no, it's a scorpion. And then the fourth person goes, actually, no, it's a stick bug, and turns it over or whatever. Um, and you get a big laugh at you know, how, many, how many times someone kind of dares to look at it and pass it on because the more people it gets around, the more tells that have gone through all the people. You can try and work out who was telling the truth or not. Um, it's very good. Once someone gets to like two or three of a certain animal, they get targeted. Um, so in this particular game, the person who had two or three flies got passed a lot of cards saying, this is a fly. And then they had to spend the whole game trying to go, is it or is it not? Because if I'm wrong, I could be out here. Um, so personally, I quite enjoyed it. Mark? Yeah, it, it has got its faults, but it's about as pure a bluffing game as you can get with, on the minimum set. There isn't much more to it. It's funny. If you don't find it funny, you won't enjoy it. That's pretty much it, really. Okay. Ross? Yeah, I mean, I agree with you, the guys. You have to want to play a bluffing game that's very light on rules. If that doesn't sound like something that appeals to you, you're not going to like this. This is all very much on the basis of if you enjoy fibbing and pushing your luck at... I like it. I think I'd enjoy this a lot with my group of players who just recently bought it. Um, but I think it can live and die based on the, the players that you've got. Rating? Out of ten? Yeah. I'd give it a six. Okay. Mark? I'd give it seven and a half. I enjoy it. Uh, in the right crowd at the right pace, I... Yeah. Yeah, I think they summarised it well. I think with the right group, this will be a lot of fun. Personally, I hated it. <laughs> this is not my kind of game at all. So I won't be too critical of it, because I can see, as I say, I mean, you'll be able to tell by watching it whether or not you're going to enjoy this kind of thing with your group. Uh, but yeah, not for me. I think I'd be on it for. All right, thanks for watching. That was Cockroach Poker.